Hi, Gemini. It's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Gemini with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on. Okay, these cards. Okay, so the magician, temperance, the moon, the judgment, and the full card. All right, so it looks like somebody definitely wants to reconcile. They have a lot of emotions for you. Could be a Scorpio. Could be anybody here. It's like somebody wants, they feel like you're the one. And uh, somebody even wants to kind of, uh, they definitely want to come back. They don't like the separation, the breakup. You said something or something was said. You put parameters on the relationship. It was just too much unknown here. It was too much that somebody was keeping their emotions to themselves or they were trying to keep the relationship in a, you know, a, a stuck place. It was a lot of, um, it could have been a secret relationship here also. Somebody could have found out that they were the other woman or that there was another woman or another man. Somebody was still keeping up a relationship with a secret person. Someone found this out. Somebody can't just let, they can't let it go. They can't let it go for whatever reason. Yeah, nine of cups, wishing and hoping that you come back, that you will allow them the opportunity. This could be you. Yeah, but this is toxic. It's stuck. It's a codependent relationship. Somebody needs your energy to feed their low vibration. They want to tempt you. They want to have sex with you. They could be addicted to your sex or vice versa. Or someone is addicted to sex altogether. Or somebody uses their lower nature to tame or to keep someone bound. Yep, keep them bound, stuck, not ever making a decision. Somebody kind of like dangles the carrot. Yeah, four of cups. Has somebody all up in their emotions, you know, uh, missing out on opportunities, not seeing what's before them. Somebody was also like keeping so much energy around them that they couldn't decide on you, Gemini, or this was you. Somebody's judgment is cloudy, hidden enemies, vivid dreams. Something could have come to you in a dream that somebody was cheating, lying, stealing. Um, somebody is in your dreams. Let's see. Uh, the will of fortune could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Piscean person. It's just like maybe you've changed your mind or something needs to change here. Destiny, fate, something is happening at uh, the um, divine time also. Yeah, the queen of cups. It's like you've closed down your emotions to said individual. Some of you are developing your psychic intuition and it's coming through to, through to you by way of dreams. You're getting premonition, dreams. Somebody you're dealing with is very psychic, has dreams. You've shown up in their dreams. They've shown up in yours. Somebody wants to have sex with the other. There's something or that's holding you back or holding someone back. It could be anger or fear. You secretly think about someone that is far from you, that is not with you or that you're not with, or you just can't want, you can't figure out why you haven't made it real. What's the four of cups here? The king of cups. Yeah. So it's like all of your emotions. So king and queen of cups. So definitely a lot of love here. A lot of good feelings, a lot of love. There's a lot of creativity, a lot of, this was like, you guys may have started as friends and then it turned into something else. What's going on here for Gemini? Okay. I see two relationships or two people or two, it's like two couples equaling four people. So somebody is cheating with somebody who's married recovery. Someone's coming out of a relationship where they're starting the recovery process of moving on. Yeah, meditation. Somebody's getting a lot of downloads in meditation. They're getting closer to uh, God. It's just a definite no here. And we clarify our no and yes answers here at the channel. Let's see. It's like, no, I don't want to go back into that lower vibration. It's like somebody needs you, you know, there so that they can, they can continue to do. Yeah, Page of Swords, they're spying on you. They want to argue with you. 
the relationship was the subject of gossip altogether. It's like somebody wants to bring you back down to the pit. They want you to choose this. They want you to be, you know, immature and low vibrational with them. They don't want you to ascend. They don't want you to uh, move on. Uh, they feel like if they can just keep you talking, even if it's negative and it's argumentative, then they've got you. They don't like the fact that you are reframing from talking to them because it's going to turn into an argument or this is what they're doing to you. Yeah, somebody has grown cold. They're done. And it's restriction. And somebody's trying to mature. Yeah. Mature and have a um a stable relationship. Somebody's stay staying at home a lot also. Putting up boundaries. Somebody definitely wants to reconcile, give you an, an apology. They just couldn't believe that you walked away, you know. Um, they didn't think that you would ever do that or you would ever cut this off. Something about um, re reputation and prestige and public, how the public looks at you too. I don't know. It's just more so this person feels like, well, you're not going to walk away because people will say, and everybody will say this and this and that. And somebody walked away. It was like, I don't care what people say. This is just not good for me anymore. This is what I have for you, Gemini. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to the website, book there, book your reading there. Um, come find, you know, come to the live sessions every Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Sunday nights. 9 30 p.m eastern standard time uh that's what i have for you gemini take care many blessings to you